Hey guys, we're back with the dagger for round two. All right guys, so we're back with the dagger today. Last week we came up and did a video, did some reliability and function testing. Uh, today we're back with some fairly basic upgrades and hopefully uh, we'll be able to answer some more of the Gen 3 compatibility questions surrounding the dagger. All right, so the first place we wanted to go with the gun was the trigger. So we did a, what I would consider a modest upgrade, uh, not really a full blown kit. You know, we kept the factory trigger, but we did change some of the internals. Uh, we used a TTI Grandmaster kit, dropped all that right in, no problems. The next upgrade was a set of sights. Definitely wanted to swap those and try out a, a front fiber. So we went with True Glow set. Um, I think these cost about 75 bucks. So again, relatively cheap. We're able to install them ourselves, and uh, you know, hopefully we get some good results from these. And the last thing we really wanted to check for uh, on, on the topic of the compatibility was the barrel. So we just picked up a, a Gen 3 Zafari Precision barrel and we're gonna see how it performs in the factory dagger slide. All right, guys, so we spent some more time with the dagger this morning, shot a bunch of rounds, don't even really know how many. Just, uh, just shot uh, a lot of random stuff, put the gun back through its paces with some of the upgrades, uh, you know, really from a reliability standpoint, again, more than anything, just to see if it would work with the parts that we replaced and, uh, you know, how, how much of an improvement there was over the, the stock configuration. All right, so the, the first impression or first thing I would report, I guess, would, to, would be to say that everything worked. Uh, all the parts we changed, everything seemed to work okay. Uh, didn't have any kind of malfunctions, no problems running the gun. Um, one other thing that I will mention that we did today, we shot a bunch of different, uh, you know, the, the, the P mags, some Poly 80 mags, some Gen 3, some Gen 5 Glock mags. Just, just random mags that we loaded them all up and kept loading them and kept shooting them. And they all work fine, because I think uh, in the previous video, somebody left a comment about uh, maybe the Gen 5 mags falling out or something. Didn't experience that. Uh, that could be an issue with the mag release button. Maybe, maybe somebody made contact with it while they were shooting uh, and dumped a mag, not really sure. But our experience was that it worked. All right, so like I was saying, as far as re reliability goes that we were looking for today, just wanting to see if these parts did work in the gun and if they were reliable. Um, the, the trigger, definitely a, a nice upgrade. Um, it was easy to install. I think that kit cost 45 bucks, uh, you know, ordered one online. It was here in a couple days. So relatively cheap, uh, easy to install. I'd say about any guy, you know, that, that kind of knows what's going on you know you don't need any real special tools or anything like that i'm sure there's a ton of videos uh on youtube and other places that that you could find some instruction as far as installing one of those kits so so that's a a real inexpensive and easy upgrade so the other upgrade of course were the sights uh we went with a set of true glow uh fiber optic front uh the rear sights just a standard black blade that's kind of what I prefer. I don't like a real busy sight picture, uh, just a good fiber front, plain rear. That's kind of, kind of what I go after and I feel like I shoot the best. Um, so a definite improvement. Uh, we had a lot of sun today, fiber, you know, shine real bright, um, could see it, could pick it up good. Definitely for me personally, a big improvement to the gun. You know, I, I, I definitely, I would say that that was the, the best improvement, e even more so than the trigger for me. Um, I will mention that the rear sight, if you guys are going to change the sights on these guns, the rear sight was really tight. It was tough to, to punch out. I used a, you know, a Glock, uh, rear sight tool and, um, it, it, it was pretty tight. So, uh, you know, I think 
there were some questions about was the rear sight metal or plastic on the factory gun. Um, it was metal. And like I say, it's in there pretty tight, man. So you guys be careful. You may even want to start it with a brass punch and a hammer just to get it, get it started or something like that. But, uh, but it was a beast to get out. And the final mod uh, that we did today for the gun was we, we just dropped a barrel in. Uh, it's a Zafari Precision. You know, th that's one of those things. I'm sure some guys are going to go to some threaded barrels and some things like that. I, I didn't have one for a 19 laying around, so I just grabbed this really just to see if it would work, to see if there were any issues. There were none. Uh, can't really say the accuracy was improved or changed that much from this versus the factory barrel because uh, we didn't do a lot of accuracy testing today. It was more of a reliability and function test. So, uh, you know, again, that's, that's kind of your preference if you want to change something like that. Uh, just a confirmation that you can and it does work. All right, one other thing we were going to talk about today is uh, some holster compatibility. I noticed a bunch of comments on the previous video, uh, you know, where some guys were asking, you know, does it fit this, does it fit that? And, um, you know, I can only speak for what I've got here, so I don't know what all else is out there, but I do know, uh, we'll say like a Glock 19, a 19 specific holster, you know, this is made for a 19 and a 19 only, that's it. So if you drop the dagger in, will it go in? Yeah, it does doesn't really fit right uh there's there's definitely some play some other things in the gun that or in the holster and the fit that that just aren't quite right at least in my opinion so it will go in there it will fit in there but it doesn't fit like it should whereas the one that's made for the dagger you know it does go in as it should it, it, it's a much smoother draw and presentation that you get from the holster than you know trying to make it fit in one of these so uh so again, you know, you, you would have to check. I'm sure every holster from one to another, uh, there'll be a lot of variation uh, just tolerance wise and from some of the manufacturing process, there's probably a little difference uh, in what all else is out there. So if you were to grab a set of calipers and uh, measure a few s specific areas on these two guns, you would find some differences. So, th so there are some dimensional differences, uh, most notably in the trigger guard. Uh, the, the shape and profile is one thing that's different, but actually the, the width is a little different too. And that's why this doesn't fit in the Glock holster as well. And that's really why we just created a separate mold for the dagger that's actually cut for the trigger guard to get the click retention and all of those things. So, uh, so it's about as good a fit as you can get in one. So, you know, to answer some of those questions, you can put it in a 19 holster, but I would say that's not, not the best solution. So in closing, uh, you know, I would still say I'm impressed with this pistol. Um, you know, for, for the price point, don't think you can beat it. Uh, some, some relatively easy and inexpensive upgrades like the trigger and the sights, uh, you know, you, you're still, you haven't spent a lot of money uh, and you got a pretty good shooting pistol here. Would I go to a different barrel? I, I personally wouldn't. I would keep what's in it in there and, and shoot it as it is. But you know, if you want a threaded barrel or something different, uh, it will work. So, you know, that's what I had really hoped to uh, kind of point out in this video. You know, just, just that it will work with some of the Gen 3 parts and some of the things that, like I say, are minor upgrades without basically buying parts that cost more than the gun, gun cost to begin with. Uh, you know, you, you can have a good shooting gun here. So, so I really, Really am truly impressed with it, and it seems to work. Uh, runs good, shoots good. Pretty good, pretty good gun for the money. We're hoping to add content on a more regular basis going forward, but I need you guys for some ideas. So uh, we've got tons of gear, uh, a place to use it. I actually have plenty of ammo. <laughs> you know, don't, don't hate me for that. But anyway, uh, you know, we can come up here and burn some rounds. So anyway, um, you guys give me some ideas, man. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see or something like that. And we'll, we'll see if we can make something happen.